Hiya folks, this is Frank Sinatra and this is uh, we're going to be doing density curves on this lesson but before we do that let's take care of this board problem. A set of data has a median which is much larger than the mean. That means the mean is to the left of the median. So which of the following statements is consistent with this information? Okay, asymmetrical just means it's not symmetric. Um, and it's not symmetric but even more specific you guys it's skewed to the left. It's this guy right here because if the mean is to the left because it's less than uh, then it's going to be skewed to the left right there. So it's it's choice B, okay? So the one that's most consistent, choice uh, choice B. All right, so density curves. Here's a figure on uh, page 78 that's a nice symmetrical curve. And this is a histogram score of 7th grade students in Gary, Indiana. The smooth curve shows the overall shape of the distribution. So, um, uh, so this is the score of all 947 7th uh, grade students in Gary, Indiana on the vocab test. Uh, uh, for the Iowa State, uh, Iowa Test of Basic Skills. So, uh, in typical, you guys, uh, anything that has a lot of them, like the 947, is quite considerably a lot. So there's going to be some that get score low, some that score high, and most of them score in the middle right here. So it's going to make a nice bell-shaped curve, okay? So we'll get used to this bell-shaped curve more and more. This whole school year deals with that bell-shaped curve. Okay, so this... Uh, this natural curve is called a density curve. Okay, so characteristics of a density curve. It's uh, on or above the x-axis. Okay, it's almost always above the x-axis. The total area under the curve is 1, and the 1 counts for 100%, so 100% of the data, so 1.00. All right, and portions under the curve uh, represent uh, proportions of the observations. You'll get lots more of that later. Uh, so look at the figures on, on two, uh, 2.4 on page 81. So this area right here, you know, this whole area, this is a density curve. The whole area is 1. That's what this says right here. And if we just wanted to focus on this little dude right here, I don't know where they got 0.12 from, you guys. This is just an example. This is Notice that 0.12 is less than 1. Any area that we picked inside of here would be less than 1 because the total area is 1. Okay, so... Um, they just said, for example, the shaded area under this density curve has proportion of observations taken values between 7 and 8. And they're saying that the proportion is 0.12. Again, we'll get the 0.12 later when we start talking about Z distributions, but that's not until later. The mean and median of a symmetrical curve or a normal curve we'll discuss in the next lesson are the same. So, for example, uh, this picture right here is uh, on page, uh, what page did I say that was on? Page 81. Uh, figure 2.5a, the mean and median, and the mode are right there, okay? But we're just uh, interested in the mean and the median, okay? Uh, so on skewed curves, the mean is always pulled in the direction of the skewness. We talked about that before. So uh, here's a skewed to the right, so the mean is going to be to the right of the median right there. All right, and then the mean is the balancing point on a density curve. So if, uh, if this mean is this bar right here, here's the mean right here, so it's not on the balancing point. Here it's not on the balancing point. When it's on the balancing point, that's the mean. I don't know. It's just where it balances, you guys. Don't get too tied up into that. You, this book likes this little piece right here. Uh, you'll never see it again, I don't think. So, it, But it is the balancing point on your, on your density curve. The median is the point that have half the observations on either side, so so it has to have equal area on both sides of the median. All right, so uh, quartiles then divide each half into half, so a quarter of the area is to the left, 25% is to the left of quartile 1, and 75% is to the left of quartile 3, or 25% is to the right of quartile 3. Okay, and the density curve. Uh, let's see, the mean, which is X bar we've been using, is now we're going to start using the Greek letter mu. So it's kind of got a funny little M sort of sort of shape, I don't know. You'll see how I write it in class, but it's the Greek letter mu. Okay, standard deviation uses the Greek letter sigma. Okay, it's look like, kind of like a funny R with a little extra hook around to it, a smaller, a smaller case R, okay? Greek letter sigma. Density curves don't have to be bell-shaped. They could look like uh, that or like that or like that they just have to be uh, they just have to be above the x-axis and a total area of one all right if you're in my statistics class I would assign that for your homework I don't know what that says don't forget about that all due Monday stuff that'll be due tomorrow whatever tomorrow is for you guys all right take care you guys